Hi everyone, in this video we will study carpal bone, their site determination, identification, important features and some general features of this carpal bone. The wrist or corpus of upper limb consists of 8 carpal bones. These 8 carpal bones are arranged in two rows. This one is proximal row and this one is distal row. Each of a row consists of 4 carpal bones. These are numbered from lateral to medial side. Proximal row consists of scaphoid, lunate, triquitral, and piscivum bone, whereas distal row consists of trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, and hamate. There is mnemonic to remember these eight bones, and this is she looks too pretty, try to catch her. From this mnemonic, you can easily remember the name of these eight carpal bones. Now, let us discuss the general features of these carpal bones. This proximal row. This proximal row you can see is convex proximally and concave distally. Whereas this distal row, this distal row is also convex proximally, but unlike proximal row, this distal row is flat distally. Each carpal bone consists of six surfaces. Dorsal and Plantar surface of each of carpal bone is non-articulating except two bones. These are triquitral and piscivum bone. These bones have articulating surface on plantar and dorsal surface because they are articulating with each other. Dorsal surface of each of carpal bone is always larger than its plantar surface except lunate bone because lunate bone has its plantar surface larger than its dorsal surface and you can see medial surface of each of carpal bone is articulating with other bone except three bones these are triquitral bone piscifum bone and hamlet you can see uh, these are not articulating with any other bone through its medial side and also lateral surface of each of uh, carpal bone is articulating except two bones these are scaphoid bone and trapezium bone now let us discuss the specific feature of each of these eight carpal bone this one is scaphoid this scaphoid bone is concave on its one side and other side is convex it has also has a tubercle which is located on its lateral side this is called tubercle of scaphoid bone and this scaphoid resembles the shape of a boat this one is lunate bone this this lunate bone has a half moon shaped articulating surface near its lateral end and this triquitral bone this triquitral bone has a shape of a pyramid And uh, this triquitral bone has articulating facet over its uh, plantar surface near its uh, distal end. And through this uh, facet, uh, this triquitral bone articulate with piscifum bone. This piscifum bone has a shape of a P. And uh, this piscifum bone also has a articulating surface on its uh, dorsal surface near its proximal end. And through this articulating facet, it articulate with triquitral bone. This is trapezium bone and, and this trapezium bone has quadrilateral shape. This trapezoid bone, this trapezoid bone you can see it is larger on its distal end and it is comparatively smaller at its proximal end. and also you can see it is prolonged laterally. This bone resembles the shape of a baby shoe like this one. This one is capitate. This this capitate is largest carpal bone, and uh, this capitate has a round head at its one end and other and uh, is projecting on its both end and one of its end is, is la la longer than its other end. And this one is hamate bone. This hamate bone is, has a shape of wedge, and it uh, has a hook on its. Uh, one surface and this hook is specific to this hamlet bone no other bone has hook in next video we will discuss about the side determination of scaphoid capitate and hamlet bone